everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back. So I am joining Christy today with Christy's Beautiful Life. She is doing 30 days of sketches for the month of May. And I was asked to join and um, I chose Cinco de Mayo, which is today. So when I think of Cinco de Mayo, and let me ask you this, do you guys celebrate on Cinco de Mayo? I mean, a reason to party. Um, you know, I live in Texas and I used to live in Southern California. We celebrated there too. But um, I don't know if it's because of the large Hispanic culture that, you know, that I'm surrounded by is why we celebrate it. I'm just curious. So leave me a message below if you do end up celebrating it. And if, uh, and tell me where you live. And that would uh, kind of answer that question. Because I mention it to other people that aren't from Texas and they have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm just curious. Okay, so Cinco de Mayo. So when I think of Cinco de Mayo, I think of Mexican food. And when I think of Mexican food, I think of nachos. Now, I was talking to my daughter about nachos earlier today. And I said, you know, my love of nachos. And she said, uh, it's not a love of nachos. It's an obsession. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I am obsessed with nachos. I uh, so, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard of Taco Tuesday, right? Have you heard of Taco Tuesday? I'm thinking you have. Well, I'm not a big taco person, but I always called it Nacho Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, I would always get nachos. Well, that was before our, I started eating low carb, which is also known as keto. And I had to give up or, you know, I chose to. I chose to give up nachos because I needed to be a little bit more conscious about my health. So um, I was a little sad, the thought that I can't eat nachos. But then I discovered Quest chips. And those are protein chips. And they're nacho flavored. And it changed my world. Yes, I am so happy because I can make keto nachos now. And thus I do. I try to have them on Wednesday. Um, yeah, they're delicious. Absolutely delicious. So here's a photo of them. And whenever I was thinking about doing a Cinco de Mayo page, um, I was talking with Shannon Allar about it. And she said, oh my gosh, you need to add a llama to your page. You need to use the Good Vibes collection. I'm like, Oh, that's right. I forgot. I have that. I have a lot of it. I have a lot. So I did. I pulled out that llama uh, chipboard. And that is my next to the photo. That is like draw attention to his sweet little face. Oh, my gosh. It is so good. So I this is going to be my title. It's all good because nachos. Yes, they're all good. I'm sorry, guys. I totally am obsessed with nachos. I could talk about them for a long period of time. So, yeah. So I wanted to make a little banner here because, you know, banners remind me of, you know, party and fiesta. And so that's why I chose to do those little triangles. And that flower, there was only one of those. And I thought, you know what? It can be kind of like a pinata. So I have it hanging there from the banner and I'm looking for different things. Now that little rectangle that I put on those striped papers, it says, you are my very favorite. Yes, they are. And the little pink piece that I put down and I got that from my click kits. My, they uh, provided um, uh, cut aparts in with their kits. And that one says good vibes only. So I, took away the little flare that I have uh, had above it that said good vibes. So I'm not going to use that, but I am going to put this there and it is a hexagon. It says number one fan It's actually a tag, but I'm not going to use it as a tag. I'm going to kind of trim it up and it's going to be what's well, going to live up there in the upper right hand corner. Continue to look for more things to add. I don't, I don't find much. So I need to make sure I leave some room for some journaling because I certainly 
You know, if I can talk a lot about nachos, I can write a lot about nachos. So that's, I'm sorry, guys, if you get, get sick of that. <laughs> and you saw at the very beginning, um, the sketch that I'm using, it does have a circle element. And I just went and got a salad plate and drew around it. And I want it to be kind of organic looking. So it does have one solid black line. And then the rest of the lines are kind of wobbly. And so I love the way that that looks better. So, you know, I drew all these lines from my journaling. And guess what? It's not enough. I have to draw more lines because I have more to say. Oh, my gosh. How can one person talk so much and, and have so much to say about, yes, nachos? I am going to add some sequins to this. And I use the Distress Collage Medium to glue my sequins down. So if you uh, haven't seen me uh, do my videos before, that is something that I, I dip it into the little uh, container with my tweezers. I've had that container for a couple of years. So it does last uh, quite a long time and the sequins don't fall off. So I absolutely love them. I do add some splatters. It is a cloudy day. It is a Shimmers product. I know it's yellow. Uh, the label is yellow. That's because whenever I had them sent to me, one of the bottles leaked and well, that's what happened. All right. So there's still shots here at the end. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to leave a link to Christy's, um, her channel below. And I want to say thanks to Christy for inviting me to be a part of this. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a great Cinco de Mayo. Okay, bye-bye.